I'm Diane Sayre, and I'm here in the State House in Trenton, New Jersey, where I and a group of my associates just attended the uh, New Jersey League of Municipalities Mayor's uh, Conference. And what was clearly up for discussion is that the state is bankrupt, and no matter how much they increase taxes, they can't cut enough to balance the budget. And this is the situation in every state of the union. And uh, we went in and spoke with about 40 mayors. Uh, I have to say, I didn't meet anyone who was uh, overwhelmingly enthusiastic about the policies being discussed. It turns out in New Jersey, in the municipalities, 98% of the revenue comes from property taxes, which is why our state has the highest property taxes in the United States. However, that being said, there's no way that any amount of taxing is going to cover the expenditures that should be made by any state. And it's ironic that the very day that they're coming to a total impasse on how to deal with this, you have hearings in the U.S. Congress where they are examining the findings of the Angelides Commission, which prove that the bailouts are not necessary that the crisis could have been avoided, that everything Lyndon LaRouche has said over the last 30 years was absolutely 100% on the mark. So we are urging the mayors that we've spoken with, many of whom know their congressmen personally, to get in touch with their congressmen immediately on the need to act to reinstate FDR's Glass-Steagall Act and stop the bailouts and free up credit to allow the states to function and urgently to build the North American Water and Power Alliance. I'll also say that of all the mayors that I spoke with, I only spoke with two who still support Barack Obama. So it's become obvious to almost everyone that Obama is the major impediment in the country to any kind of policy for real economic growth and recovery. So. We are running a fight, as people know, the six LaRouche Democrats, I here in New Jersey, to restore Alexander Hamilton's principle of credit and to hopefully this week will bring developments in the United States that would be an American parallel to what we've seen around the planet in Ireland and Egypt where we get a radical policy change in the near term. Thank you.